Hey everybody, James here again with you. Thanks for tuning to this video. And today I want to compare or show you a comparison that I've been working on the Crossman 14.3 grain dome versus the Crossman 14.3 grain pointed pellet. Now, I have been studying pellets for many, many years now. I keep finding new things about pellets. And a lot of the times, I find a lot of information from articles that I read. A lot of you know that I've been a big fan of Tom Gaylord, and I read pretty much a lot of his publishings on Pyramid Air. So taking his advice or info from one of the articles that I found, and I'll share the link below, he stated that the pointed pellets are really good for hunting, but only for shorter ranges. And I've always wanted to understand, is there really a big difference in pellet heads? If the pellet shoots good, does the head really matter? And if it doesn't shoot good, is that because of the head or something else? But anyway, with that said, this video isn't so much about accuracy as it is about comparing the heads of the dome and pointed pellet. Now, this rifle is the same tune and I'm gonna go over the velocities real quick with you before I get into the showing, showing you the targets that I shot at. So I got my chronograph app open here because it's a lot of information that I wanted to share with you. Now, I shot at a low tune and a high tune. So the low tune with the Crossman pointed, which was on this Air Venturi Avenger 22 caliber, I have my regulator set at 1900 PSI, zero turns in on the hammer spring, and they were going 740. On a five shot average, you could see, I'll put the screenshot of the FPS at the low tune. And then the low tune for the dome was shooting 730. So they're pretty neck and neck at the low tune. Now we bump it up for a high tune I am shooting the pointed at 926 feet per second with, I think it was three turns in on the hammer spring, if I remember. And the dome were right beside it. I mean, 926, 927 feet per second on average of five shots. So really, no big difference. Now, here's a big difference, though, that I am going to tell you and what a lot of people claim about the pointed and the dome. The, obviously, the dome is more ballistic coefficient and stays in flight longer, right? So I took readings at 35 yards. So starting at the reading at 35 yards on the low tune of the Crossman Dome. So from 730 feet per second at the muzzle, at 35 yards, they were 652. The high setting for the Crossman Dome, again, 926 feet per second and at 35 yards on the high setting 787 feet per second now the pointed pellet on the other hand here's where the big difference kicks in and again I don't know I don't think it's because of the head personally but I'll tell you why here in a second so on the low setting the pointed were 739 feet per second, five shot average at muzzle. And at 35 yards, they were 636 feet per second on average. So about 100 feet per second difference. Well, on the high setting, 926 feet per second at the muzzle. At 35 yards, they were 756 feet per second. So about a 175 feet per second difference guys and the dome were about 100 feet per second on high power so that right there tells you that obviously the dome pellets are more of a ballistic coefficient and last in flight longer than the pointed but with that said does that mean anything downrange besides if they're flying true does that really mean anything downrange on impact so I captured these two pellets in my dunk tank and wanted to measure to see what the big difference was as to why or what's happening. Now, both of these pellets, even though they're the same weight, they're not identical. The heads 
are different of course but the actual skirt and the bearing surface at the head where the rifling touch the pellets is not the same length so what i'm thinking is that the the pointed pellets are just a hair too short for this barrel compared to the dome pellets and there's a big difference uh, if i remember off the top of my head the domes were five millimeters and the pointed were 4.75 millimeters so that's a quarter of a millimeter difference and i know that doesn't sound like a lot but downrange you know again not being an accuracy video it's losing a lot of steam because of being underspun and also the rpms so with that said now i want to get into some targets that i like i said on impact does this really matter i don't know but on impact i want to see what these both of these pellets do so i have a interesting target i want to share with you on i'm going to go ahead and show you the low setting of each of these pellets shooting the dome up first and then the pointed so let me go ahead and show you that now Okay, so you've seen the target down there. I'm going to go ahead and show you the high setting now. So check these shots out. Again, the first one was the dome, and then the second one was the pointed. So here's the target which is a piece of cardboard just to emulate to see what the impact area is and the exit hole and i really wanted to study on this because as you can see they look similar but the the pointed pellet really did some more damage even though it's not holding its energy as good as the dome pellet and you could clearly see that the the pointed pellet is something else i mean it's just ripping right through there's the dome right or the there's the pointed right there and it's just ripping right through it so again it's crazy what these pointed pellets are doing on impact compared to the dome even though that they're losing a lot of steam downrange so the next target i want to share with you is water bottles so check it out the dome is up first and then the pointed So here we have the dome and here we have the pointed and as you've seen the dome zip right through not much reaction from the water bottle but on the pointed the other hand the pointed hit and the bottle just jumped and the water was gushing out so 35 yards to me it seems like even though the pointed pellets are losing steam again and the you know their ballistic coefficient they seem to impact a lot better than the dome but again you know that the dome is more commercialized in the market than any other pellet all brands obviously but anyways i just wanted to give you a little short comparison of the dome and the pointed pellet and i believe truly that the pointed pellet still has a place for use and obviously like they say short range and if i really wanted to spend the time to get my gun tuned in at a higher feet per second that way it could be a longer range setup i probably could but the problem is again the pellets even though they're the same weight which that would equate into the feet per second that has nothing to do with how it shoots so the pellets again are so different that the heads even though the head are different the first driving band and contact points in the bore the pointed pellets a lot shorter i mean a quarter of a millimeter i know that doesn't sound like a lot but for a pellet that's a lot and obviously if they're spiraling down range at high feet per second high velocity it's definitely not a good tune for them 
But anyways, that's what I wanted to share with you, and I hope you guys like this video. I appreciate it as always. Thanks for clicking it again, and I hope to see you on the next one.